Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another book of the month box. My April book of the month box came a few days ago, I think earlier this week on Monday or so. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what selections I made for April. And also I have a little unboxing for you guys of some new releases. So let me go ahead and actually start with the unboxing and then we'll move on to the book of the month box. So I've already opened up the box. Um, this is from Amazon and I have two books. One that came out on Tuesday. So this past Tuesday, um, the 10th, today's Wednesday, the 11th, for those that are wondering. And then I have a book that came out a while ago, but the paperback version came out on Tuesday, April 10th. So I wanted to get the paperback version, not the hardback. So without further ado, let me show you. The first book I have to show you guys is The Fates Divide by Veronica Roth. I've been collecting this newer series of hers. I'm ashamed to say I haven't read any of them, so I'm not really sure what book this is in the series. Let's see. I think this is book two in the Carve the Marth, Carve the Marth, Carve the Mark series, I believe. Honestly, I don't even know. There are certain authors that are like auto buy authors for me. And ever since the Divergent series came out and I loved all but the third book, which I hated, I have put Veronica Roth on my auto buy list. So whatever she comes out with, I just buy. I just haven't gotten a chance to get to this series yet, but hopefully I will one day. I don't know when, to be honest with you, but hopefully soon. And then the next book I have is a book that I have been eyeing for about a year now. So when I saw that they were going to come out with a paperback issue soon, I wanted to go ahead and get on that. And this is Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. The synopsis for this book really captured me. Um, it says, Mary B. Addison killed a baby. Allegedly. She didn't say much in the first interview with detectives, and the media filled in the only blanks that mattered. A white baby had died under the care of a church-going black woman and her nine-year-old daughter. The public convicted Mary and the jury made it official, but did she do it? She wouldn't say. Mary survived six years in baby jail before being dumped in a group home. There wasn't a point to setting the record straight before, but now she's got Ted and their unborn child to think about. When the state threatens to take her baby, Mary's fate now lies in the hands of the one person she distrusts the, she distrusts the most, her mama. No one knows the real mama, but does anyone know the real Mary? So this supposedly is dark, suspenseful. It's supposed to be like really absorbing and like really on the edge of your seat type of stuff. So ever since I read that synopsis, I have been wanting to get my hands on this and I just didn't want the hardback because unless it's like an author I really love or it's a new release and I just can't wait, I prefer paperback copies of books. So once I saw that this was coming out soon, I decided to wait. So yeah, I have this in my hands now. So these were the two new releases and now on to April's book of the month box. So for those of you that don't know, book of the month box is basically something that I have been doing for a while now. I gifted it to myself for Christmas. I will link all the other book of the month box videos either up here or in the description box so you guys can go check them out. It is a monthly subscription service. You pay about $16 or so, 15 and change a month and you get to pick a selection of one of five books and then any other book you choose, you can load up to two more books in your box. It, they're all hardcovers and they will only be $9.99 additional. I know I'm not explaining this very well, but you can go check out the other videos. My camera is actually about to run out of room, my memory card, so that's why I'm talking really fast. So I will link my um, affiliate link down below if you want to check it out. I would really appreciate you using my link and onto the video. It always comes in this wrapping right here, so I need to open it. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. All right, so off with the wrapping. I got three books this month, which I'm super excited about. It always comes with this book of the month box um, bookmark. These are the three books. It always comes with this cardstock that lists all the books that you got on it. And then on the back, it says Latte Art, A Room with a View, Serious Weekend Vibes. And then you can tag them on Instagram if you want to show off the books that you got. So that's pretty much how it's always packaged. Now, my April book that I chose is 
Circe or Circe? How do you say this correctly? I have no idea. But this is by Madeline Miller. And this really intrigued me because it's a historical and I love historical novels. So I try to pick them up when I can. The synopsis says, The daring, dazzling, and highly anticipated follow-up to the New York bestseller The Song of Achilles that brilliantly remains the life of Circe. Wait, is this a follow-up novel? I hope not. Because I'm just going to dive into this one. I don't know if I'm going to check out the first one. I'm a little concerned. Okay. In the house of Helios, god of the sun and mightiest of the titans, a daughter is born. But Circe, or Circe, is a strange child, not obviously powerful like her father, not viciously alluring like her mother. Turning to the world of mortals for companionship, she discovers that she does possess power. The power of witchcraft which can transform, transform rivals into monsters and menace the gods themselves. Threatened, Zeus banishes her to a deserted island where she hones her occult craft, tames wild beasts, and crosses paths with many of the most famous figures, figures, <laughs> figure, and crosses paths with many of the most famous figures in all of mythology. Yup, I ran out of room, y'all, so if the angle looks weird, I'm so sorry, I had to delete some footage, and we're back. So let's continue on with the unboxing and me reading the synopsis of this book. In the house of Helios, god of the sun and mightiest of the titans, a daughter is born. But Circe is a strange child, not obviously powerful like her father, nor viciously alluring like her mother. Turning to the world of mortals for companionship, she discovers that she does possess power. The power of witchcraft, which can transform rivals into monsters and menace the gods themselves. Threatened, Zeus banishes her to a deserted island where she hones her occult craft, tames wild beasts, and crosses paths with many of the most famous figures in all of mythology, including the Minotaur, Daedalus and his doomed son Icarus, the murderous Medea, and of course, wily Odysseus. But there is danger, too, for a woman who stands alone. And Circe, is it Circe or Circe? Let's go with Circe. And Circe unwittingly, and Circe unwittingly draws the wrath of both men and gods, ultimately finding herself pitted against one of the most terrifying and vengeful of the Olympians. To protect what she loves most, Circe must summon all her strength and choose once and for all whether she belongs with the gods she is born from or the mortals she has come to love. With unforgettable, vivid characters, mesmerizing language, and page-turning suspense, Circe is a triumph of storytelling, an intoxicating epic of family rivalry, palace intrigue, love and loss, as well as a celebration of indomitable female strength in a man's world. Tell me that doesn't sound absolutely amazing. I am so here for this novel. Like once I read the synopsis, normally I'm such a snob. Like I read the synopsis of all the selections that they give us and then I go to Goodreads and look at all the reviews and then whichever one has the best reviews is the book I usually go with. And I usually stay away from like the thrillers and the scary books because that's not really my thing. But I didn't even care. I didn't even look up the reviews for this book. I read the synopsis and I was like, I gotta get this. This is my book for April. Next on a recommendation from one of you lovely people, I picked up The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. Now I did have my eyes on this for the March box, but I just had this other book, I think it was um, An American Marriage. That was the one that replaced the great, the great Alone in my box. So I wanted An American Marriage and I didn't have room for The Great Alone and I really wanted it. So when I was reading through y'all's comments on one of my videos, I can't remember which one, and one of you lovely, wonderful people was like, hey, get this book. I was like, oh my gosh, I have been wanting to get that. This is perfect. So I went ahead and put it in my box and I'm so excited. Now this one I know is another historical. It takes place in Alaska in 1974. And it says, unpredictable, unforgiving, untamed, for a family in crisis, the ultimate test of survival. Now y'all know I love survival tales. Ernst Albright, a former POW, that's prisoner of war for those that don't know, comes home from the Vietnam War a changed and volatile man. When he loses yet another job, he makes an impulsive decision. He will move his family north to Alaska, where they will live off the grid in America's last true frontier. 13-year-old Lenny, a girl coming of age in a tumultuous time, caught in the riptide of her parents' passionate, stormy relationship, 
dares to hope that a new land would lead to a better future for her family. She is desperate for a place to belong. Her mother, Cora, will do anything and go anywhere for the man she loves, even if it means following him into the unknown. At first, Alaska seems to be the answer to their prayers. In a wild, remote corner of the state, they find a fiercely independent community of strong men and even stronger women. The long, sunlit days and the generosity of the locals make up for the Albright's lack of preparation and dwindling resources. But, as winter approaches and darkness descends on Alaska, Ernst's fragile mental state deteriorates and the family begins to fracture. Soon, the perils outside pale in comparison to threats from within. In their small cabin, covered in snow, blanketed in 18 hours of night, Lenny and her mother learn the terrible truth. They are on their own. In the wild, there is no one to save them but themselves. In this unforgettable portrait of human frailty and resilience, Kristen Hanna reveals the indomitable character of the modern American pioneer and the spirit of a vanishing Alaska, a place of incomparable beauty and danger. The Great Alone is a daring, beautiful, stay-up-all-night story about love and loss, the fight for survival, and the wilderness that lives in both man and nature. My heart just skipped a beat. Like, I, I literally just got chills reading that. Chills, you guys. Chills! Oh, I'm so ready! I'm so dramatical today. Last but not least is another book that I'm so excited to get my hands on. I'm literally dancing. Ah! The Power by Naomi Alderman. This book has been recommended to me for months and months and months by like my coworkers and friends and family and Amazon and Goodreads and just everyone recommending this book to me. And so I was like, you know what? It's about that time. <clears throat> A fierce new power has emerged and only women have it. Ah, uh, my type of read already. In the power, the world is a recognizable place. There's a rich Nigerian boy, eh, oh, 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 Niger, who lounges around the family pool, a foster kid whose religious parents hide their true nature, an ambitious American politician, a tough London girl from a tick, ticky, <laughs> a tough London girl from a tricky family. But then, a vital new force takes root and flourishes, causing their lives to converge with devastating effect. Teenage girls and women now have immense physical power, with the flick of their fingers, they can cause agonizing pain and even death. And with this small twist of nature, everything changes drastically. From award-winning author Naomi Alderman, The Power is speculative fiction at its most ambitious and provocative, at once taking us on a thrilling journey to an alternate reality and exposing our own world in bold and surprising ways. I mean... I'm so excited. Like, I literally don't have any words. I feel like I keep saying I'm so excited. This is so amazing. I can't wait. I could scream again, but honestly, I don't want to lose my voice. I'm hype, okay? Despite what you see here, I am hype as fuck. And there you have it, folks. This is my April book of the month box. This is probably my most, like, anticipated box yet. Like, these reads I highly anticipate to the 10th power. I'm so ready. And I don't know when I'm going to find the time to read all these with all the other books I need to read. But I'm going to make the time because I want to talk to y'all about these books. And I know y'all want to know how I feel. That's all I have to say now. That's all I have to say. I'm all talked out, y'all. But yes, I'm ready. These are the books. Once again, if you're interested in joining Book of the Month, definitely check down, check down, check out my affiliate link down below. I'll put it in the information box. That will take you straight to the website. You can read more about it. And I always forget to say this in every video, but you can skip a month. So it gives you until the sixth, sixth, it gives you until the sixth, sixth, I give up. It gives you until the sixth, <laughs> Day six of the month to skip the box for the month if you don't want to um, get anything and then you just have that credit waiting for you for the next month. Like if there's nothing that you're interested in, then you can skip and move on with your life basically. And um, until the next month and hopefully the next month they'll have some, you know, something more enticing for you. And here are all my new goodies to add to my library. I will catch you guys in my next video. And yeah, that's all I have for right now. Bye, guys. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, I gots to go. I'm getting delirious. Bye. <laughs>